So say they give us a function like this, f of x equals x squared over x minus two. Now the way that we know that it has a slant asymptote is because the highest degree term in the numerator is greater than the highest degree term in the denominator. So you can see this is x squared, this is x to the first. This uh, highest degree term is uh, greater by one. Okay, so the way we find the slant asymptote is we do polynomial long division, or you can do the synthetic division. So in this case, I'll show you the synthetic division. So we're gonna divide by x minus two. So we have one x squared, zero x, and zeros are constant. So if you need to review synthetic division, you can check out the video I did on that. But I'll also show you the polynomial long division so you can see both ways. So this is two, two, four, and four is our remainder. So what we end up getting here is we end up getting uh, x plus two. So y equals x plus two is our slant asymptote. Now, if you wanna do the polynomial long division, uh, what you would do is x minus two is going into x squared plus zero x plus zero. Okay, so let's see, what times x gives us x squared? That's gonna be one x. If we distribute, we get x squared minus two x. We subtract, or you could change the signs to the opposite and add, that's what a lot of students do. And then what times x gives us two x? That's two, we distribute, we get two x minus four. We change the signs to the opposite, we add. The remainder you don't have to worry about though when you're doing, um, finding the slant asymptotes, when you're doing the synthetic division or polynomial long division, the remainder we don't have to worry about. And the reason is, is because this is gonna be four over x minus two. As x gets larger and larger, this whole term is actually gonna go to zero. So that's why we're not concerning ourselves with that. So if we go and start graphing this, what we get is a graph that looks like this. We have a slant asymptote of y equals x plus two. The y-intercept is two. Okay, let's see if I can draw a nice accurate graph for us here. So basically it's gonna look like this and it's gonna go like this. Okay, let me we'll just draw a dashed, okay? It's an invisible line, it's a dotted line, a dashed line, but the graph is gonna approach that line. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna look at is the denominator, we can't divide by zero, and you can see that we're gonna have vertical asymptote here at x equals two, because we can't divide by zero, and two would make the denominator zero. So there's our vertical asymptote there at x equals two. Okay, so our graph is starting to come together. Let's look at the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So you can make a table like this, and you can set x to zero to find the y-intercept, and y to zero to find the x-intercept. So if we set x to zero, you can see we're gonna get zero over negative two, which is zero, and so it's gonna cross right here at the origin. Okay, if we set y to zero, again, we're gonna get zero. So it's going through the, through the origin. So the x-intercept, the y-intercept, it's um, going through that same point there. So now the only other thing to analyze is what happens when you get closer and closer to this vertical asymptote. You can cross a slant asymptote, you can cross a horizontal asymptote, but you can't cross a vertical asymptote. If you do, then you're gonna be dividing by zero, which is undefined. So what I usually do is I pick a point to the left and the right of the vertical asymptote and see if the graph is going up or if it's going down. And the easiest way to do that is do something called sign analysis. Say for example, we plug in uh, 1.9 in here. 1.9 squared is gonna give us a positive value. 1.9 minus two is gonna give us a negative value. And a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So that tells us as we're getting closer to this vertical asymptote, we're going down towards negative infinity. So basically you can see this graph is gonna look something like this. It's approaching the two asymptotes. Now I'm gonna pick a point over here on this side, maybe positive 2.1. I just pick a point a little bit greater than two to the right of two. If we do that, we get 2.1 squared, which is positive. 2.1 minus two is 0.1, which is positive. And a positive divided by a positive is a positive. So as you're approaching this vertical asymptote from this side, you can see it's going up to positive infinity. So this graph is gonna look something like that. So there's your graph 